All right, we're here with Jeremy Glassman. Uh, he got third place at the Fort Worth Regionals yesterday playing True Jacob of Mice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so I'll start with my matchups, I guess. First round, I was calling it Scrub because it was like Magical Arm Shield, Flutter Dragon, Yomi Shift deck. It was like... A starter weird, deck. Basically, yeah. Second round was my first mirror match, True Jacob of Mice. Um, third was ABC Zoo. Fourth, my second mirror match, True Jacob of Mice again, obviously. Five was Lawn Mowing Zodiac. Six is my last mirror match. Seventh was Pure Zoo. It's the only match I lost. Um, I kind of opened it definitely bad. As uh, a one game, I won the die roll. Like one match. I lost every other die roll. And going game one, I opened four monsters and demise, which is, I played like eight monsters. So it's kind of ridiculous. And so I just lost. And then game three, my sixth card was Maxi, which is, well, it's always just a scar, you know? So, um, seventh, eighth round and ninth round are both pure zero as well. Um, and for the deck profile, we'll start now. Uh, so, two masterpiece. It's like the unbanned towers and then made it better. Like, when they routed it, they buffed it. It's better than towers. So stupid. Shout out to Brendan for that example. Uh, three dynamite is the best. Monster Tides, Masterpiece in the deck. It allows you to tribute how many opponents turn because you get a trap for the deck, which are pretty great. It's the highest attack too. Pretty good. Then you're playing two Majesty Maiden. Um, this card, like you search the Masterpiece, so if you already have the trap, you can tribute on their turn afterwards. It's just any monster, but you, actually, so it's pretty good. Um, but even search itself, which is kind of stupid. <laughs> I've done that once. Um, Ignis Heat, I never saw this card the entire day except when I opened four monsters. So, I I'm honestly cutting this, it's not good, I started out every game. Um, probably gonna be a Regeki, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, then you're playing seven field spells. You're playing the three Dragonic Diagram. Uh, this card is so stupid, with three terraforming. And then you're playing one Domain, because I'm not playing an extra deck, and it's so good. Either going first and locking down or going second, wiping the board and then locking it down again against you. Like, they can't do much. And because it's only at one, you, you only really start to terraform, you only draw into that much. It's not a big deal in the mirror match because you don't really see it. And even then, it's helpful to get over Masterpiece. You gain 100 attack when you attack. So, like, it's come up a few times with that because um, it's hard to get rid of the opponent's Masterpiece when you do Trap Monster in the mirror match because you don't really have that many outs, so many Stormforth. So, was just with Diagram on field because they can't die twice by battle. So, because both have one in field and they both gain attack and they both don't die by battle because they stack, which is stupid. So it's a good card, <laughs> of course. Um, three Heritage is basically just super rejuve and lets you tribute summon again, which is helpful, of course. And then three Disciples, if you uh, shuffle back and then draw. I didn't do that that much because I often wanted to keep continuous spell and trap in the grave. But I would do it if I had extra ones and monsters. It came up a few times, but usually just help. You need to have a, a, a contribute summons. Um, and then demise. It's just so it's, this card is just ridiculous. I mean, because you tribute summon all your stuff and then you just activate it, and you can so very easy get rid of your hand. Something because you only play a monster, but you not only 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 open four monsters and demise one, so it's really rare. Uh, three duality. It's good because. Well, it's duality and you don't patch summon at all. I started one out every time, usually, basically. Um, when Every time I went second, sometimes when I went first. Because you don't need it when you go second. Uh, you don't need three when you go second. So, yeah. Just filler. Exactly. Same thing with Desires. I started one or two out every, def basically every game. Um, it's good, it's good, but you don't need it when you go second again. So, yeah. Uh, this card, shout out to Brendan, he basically played. Originally, this little funny story about this was, I did not have a third True King's Return. So I was uh, proxying Mistake in my deck, and last night, the night before the regional, it's like, I just was testing it then, the only time I tested it, it said, why do you pro? Because everything is bugged there anyway. And I was like, maybe I'll just play Mistake, they can't get their return. It's like, why do you play Deck Lockdown? I'm like, oh, right. Duh, it's just better. And it works so well all day. This card is so stupid. It's basically just Ash Blossom, but continuous. Except it didn't stop long wing, but like, that doesn't really matter. No one's playing that anymore, and it's not like, really good. Um, Stormforth, this card put in so much work today. It's just ridiculous, like, we used to Stormforth or Dryden, or Stormforthing the, uh, the mirror match against Masterpiece, because they usually do Trap Monster, because it's the best thing to do, because it's like the only out, usually. 
It's ridiculous. And then upstart. There's 45 deck, you know, upstart. And it's super. Yeah. Uh, the better trap, three of this. Better from Graves, who can stall a lot. Um, and it lets you tribute to the opponent's turn. Um, same thing as this one, like tribute. This one, like, you can destroy another one to, uh, to, to half the attack permanently of all opponent's monsters, which is good, like, they have monsters on the field. Um, they sometimes, like, it's not the half the attack isn't helpful, but, like, you can blow up one of your new spell or traps to, to destroy things. But I didn't sort of buy this card. Um, so, game, I won game one against a mirror match, and then game two, um, he combo cycling to 7k damage, 7 to life left. And he had to read Imperial Order, he had to, like, but he already, like, already got rid of two diagrams, he had desires, and all his monsters were gone, so he didn't have really that many monsters left at all to get to. Um, and he had to the field, and he activated Imperial Order as fifth card. And I just sat there and never summoned a monster, so never let him, like, blow up a continuous spell to get rid of Imperial Order, or, like, he never drew no monster in the five turns, so he, he exact game himself with Imperial Order. It was hilarious. Because he, I got him rid of so many monsters, he had like two left in deck, so he didn't draw into them in time. Because, so it's hilarious. And then, just go to an Imperial Order. Like, yeah, there's no explanation needed, they're so good. Um, honestly, no extra deck. So, side deck. Um, the one Maxi and the three Ghost Ogre. Um, I don't have Ash Blossom, so, but, you know, I would probably play it. In the extra deck too, in addition to these, I um, also played two Dark Holes and my Geki. Um, I'm cutting. I had like one Dark Hole sometimes. They n it never really was helpful because my body, the shield, is really popular again. And with the amount of drawing Zoo does, not really need, not really. Like, they're gonna get to it, so I'm probably I'm gonna main this. I'm gonna cut these for um, from flying seas. I'm also cutting um, the the two blues one turns. They're not as good as I thought they would be. Uh, they don't really come up because they're like, going second, they're not helpful going first. You don't need it. I'm cutting these for Flying C and for a third of this, which is four minute apocrypha, which is really good all day. What does this card do? You declare uh, either XYZ Synchro or Fusion, and if there's two or more on the field, and your opponent's out of the field, they send all copies of that. So you can just wipe their board. Even if you go second, you just set it and then we'll call it, and then wipe their own, and then wipe like three boards. It's really good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this up to three. Um, Cosmic Cyclone, so good. It's been the mirror match. Um, and you did. Um, so during, it never came up today, but it's good to have, because it, I never went into a graveyard deck, but like, it, they're still there, and it's like, I don't really need any other spot for this. I would cut it if I had Ash Blossoms, probably. Uh, probably like, cut it and maybe not put in the third Apocrypha for, uh, three Ash Blossoms, but it's still helpful. It's not, like, not a big deal not to have Ash Blossoms either, because you have enough with the Ghost Ogres and your own removal. And you have... I, I lost every die roll, so going second wasn't a big deal either. Um, but yeah. Thanks. Um, shout out. I got some shout outs to Brennan when, and James Melby. They he helped me build the deck together. We kind of all built the, we all chipped in to help build this deck. Uh, Brennan had some good ideas for the side deck and the deck locked down. Uh, we kind of all just worked on that together. Um, yeah, thanks. All right, that's the deck profile.